Hey guys, thanks for watching. Today I'm playing the, the back nine in Sky Lakes. It's very early in the morning uh, because we're taking Xander and Arrow to Legoland right after uh, Xander's lunch. So, excited to get out and play today. At least a couple holes because I've been hitting the ball really well in the range. It doesn't mean too much for how I'm going to play today, but I've been liking the progress and what I've been doing. So, let's do it. Left the house this morning late to get out here. I have to play the back nine before. Uh, you have to get off before like 6.50 a.m. so that the front nine people don't catch you. That was a good drive. And uh, no, that was not a good drive. Low and straight, I think it was all right. Thought, I thought it was all right because it was solid, but it was left under this tree. Have like not much of a backswing, if any, and I do have a little bit of a backswing. So I had to take a a bigger club. It's like a nine iron, and I'm just trying to to kind of pitch this about three quarters of the way to the hole, and then uh, it's kind of linksy out here. So I was able to land it 20 yards short of the green. Oh, look at that shot, man! Just a little chip shot, 88 yards with the pitching wedge, and it got close. It landed like 25 yards short just took really a couple really nice bounces having that tree there shortened my backswing made it pretty great result yeah actually a pitching wedge so I had this for birdie which was definitely a bonus from where I was even though I felt like the tee shot was good I was very surprised to be there but uh, into that glare kind of in the beginning I couldn't see where it went so here's for birdie rolled it nice but very bumpy when you first come out before they have mowed it or anything else. Guy I was joined with, very quiet guy. Part of start, not bad. Nice person though. Uh, part of start. This is 575, par five. Good drive there. A little held back on that, the finish of my swing. I don't really like that. I guess I saw that Cody Bellinger thing I put up. That's more the look I'm going for rather than that kind of How barely far holding that on look. Right, so I am right in the fairway. It is about 210 or so to the start of this bunker that's in the middle there. So I, I took a five iron and I was gonna lay up short of it or a little right of it too. And uh, I did that I did that well, but uh, again, I'm just kind of like kind of holding back a little bit through impact. You can see a little bit lazy kind of through, through the strike. Making a good transition, but then getting a little lazy. Actually, it was a really nice swing, just maybe a club selection there because I came up short. You guys will see. All right, um, okay, okay. Yeah, it was okay, it was okay, so. Then I had this for birdie. Let's see all the footprints and the dew and everything. And I didn't get through any of that stuff. I didn't account for it very well at all so now I got like a what do you what would you guys call that an eight footer nine footer four par just barely made it in I said to myself I could not have hit that any more left and still had it go in so yeah that felt that felt lucky I felt like I, I got one there that I shouldn't have but that was really good uh, wedge shot should have been a lot better really the story of that hole. All right, so this is a par four, like 385. That one, I felt like the swing was a little full or a little better, but I caught it on the toe and hit somewhat of a low fade, but stayed out of the bunker, went right in the middle of the fairway. Right here, missed the center of the face. So this is where I was, uh, right in the middle of the green. You can't see over to the right of the frame is a bunker that I had missed. So I'm in a good spot here. Okay, transition. Uh, hit that way out on the toe a little bit. And gear effect wise, that made the ball draw. And I have a close that putt. A turn out shot if I ever saw one. Hit that right on the toe. But my alignment was good. So it ended up kind of toe hooking. So I blocked it, but then it hooked right back at the... That's why it's always a lot of times good to take that bigger club. 
I could be real close. Straight up and down. Yeah, it had gotten just over a ridge, and then I, I was able actually to see one of my playing partners hit from kind of a, sim a similar angle as he was tapping in which always is a little info that helps. So I really wanted to make that a little bit too much head movement on that short putt, but I made it. All right, so I'm one under at the moment going into a difficult par three. This is like two, 13th hole. This is like 200 and where the pin is. This is like 230 about, this is giant green. That uh, was not a great swing, lazy. That's, this kind of lazy or kind of more relaxed feeling is working really well and helping my back didn't swing get a lot. Set but at the top and was very lazy on the way coming down. Yes, I didn't get full set on the yeah, top. That is terrible. Got a long way to go. Too. Sorry, didn't get full set on the top and I was a little lazy coming through. So, being a lot more relaxed is helping my back swing a lot. But then I have to then still be aggressive on the way through. That was a really good thump to get it out of there. I think that's a 50 degree wedge. It was half buried. And uh, gave it enough loft. I was just hoping it would hook a little bit more. But I have a putt at a par. Pretty looking shot there. A camera shot anyway, I mean. All right, so I, this is for my par. So you can see it's downhill. I would have thought the ball would have curved that way a little bit. See, this part of the green has been mowed now. So now i got to start adjusting for the greens to be a little bit better from this point on, hopefully. All right, so that's a bogey. Moving on to par four. 14th hole. Now I'm back to even par. So watch this. Takeaway is going to be perfect for what I want. Just a little, I hit that super solid. Just a little bit of an overswing up at the top. That was a little bit too much. Super solid. Set. Super solid. Just bad line. It flew it right in the bunker. Driver probably not to play here. So I'm in this bunker, I need the loft that's straight up in the air and hit it solid. And I caught that really solid. Because of the lip that I had and also there's the green side bunkers, I did aim a little left and then left myself on the green just with a monster putt. And this was my the putt, the lag putt that I had. So, uh, but the green had been mowed, and I was able to walk it out and everything, and I made a really nice two putt there, but my camera phone totally filled up, and I had to delete some media and stuff before this hole. All right, so this is a par five. This is a disaster, this hole. Hit what I felt like was an okay drive, but it went too far left. Then I hit a very poor punch that went through the fairway. I tried to get way too much out of that. Then I was in this spot over here, and I was in a good spot, but could have advanced it, but there was a root there that I hit and it kind of like shocked my wrist completely and I, and the ball just rocketed to the right and way over the green. Then I was pitching from that spot. Yeah, th I, this is a double bogey, by the way, on this part five. Then I was pitching from that spot to here and then I chipped and it was, was a pitch. It was not a good pitch. The, the actual strike of it was nice, but it was just way too hard. And then two putts. So that was just a total disaster. All right, 163, two over par. Just made a double bogey. Really want to hit a solid green regulation. Yeah, 163 yards. This one I'm thinking of uh, something that Monty had told me, but that swing was terrible looking. Kind of held on and everything. Impact was nice though, and I uh, hit it to like yeah, two and a half feet. Wide throw. Yeah, that wide throw. <laughs> the turn and cast kind of feel, but really like, super wide as well. All right, so yeah, I have uh, about three and a half feet actually. And I really want to make this one, buckle down and make this one because of the struggle that I had on the par five. Here at Skylinks. All right, let's hit the center of the face. I'm really trying to get the ball off the center of the face on every part. It just Good makes back. your putting so much better the more you concentrate on that. All right, part four. This is a long one as well, 440, 450, something like that. Same thing, just just kind of soupy looking in my, in my driver's, my driver's shots. 
for is that. And see, this is the swing that I would like to take. See that more a fuller of a release? There's no fear in that. That's why like, you start to get some hold on or some fear in your swing. You can mess it up. Alright, so this is a really dangerous shot. So you can see um, the flag is a little left in line with those uh, the, that second tree, the, the trunk that's more dark. So what I'm going to have to do is punch this real close to this tree that's directly in front of me and try to, to draw it. And I was standing over this shot, really nervous that I was going to, because I usually, a lot of times I can pull it a little bit, really nervous I was going to ricochet it right back into my kneecap or something, or worse. But I made it out. Didn't get a ton of distance on it, but I'm in a good position in front of the green. And I, never saw, I was really scared of hitting that tree and rebounding myself. Okay, so now I have, I think I lasered this at like 44 yards, 54 degree wedge. Same thing, good impact, just too, too hard. And that kind of effort and that hardness in, in my swing, that was hitting it nice, what made hard. it go a little too far just left, you know, a little bit of that twist. So. One of the things that we're going to be working on in the short game school coming up here next next week, this weekend actually. So not today's Sunday, so it's, it'll be next Saturday and Sunday. So come join us. We have, I think, just two spots left then, one each day. Actually, we have no spots left on Sunday. We only have two spots left on Saturday. Okay, so that's a bogey. Back to two over par. Really want to make it. I really like seeing how I do on this last hole because you cannot miss left at all because there's the street there and a lot of deep bunkers here uh, more of a full release there but again I'm just missing the center of the face just not hitting the ball in the center of the face and that kind of all comes down to how not consistently I made can... a lot of good swings today but that one went right down the middle yeah how consistently you can hit the, the center of the club face really all comes down to how well you make your transition. Got to the side of that one again. Make my backswing. Remember that Gary Player stuff I was talking about? I'm going to do a full video about that. Kind of lame. Not too bad, though. Got to the side of the shaft there a little bit and then had to make some compensations. Came up short. So this is for birdie. Going through two different kinds of fringe. Really long putt here. The two guys that I was playing with had two awesome up and downs from way right of the green. And I was putting from the fringe of the green really wanted to do well. See, there's two different kinds of fringe. I thought I had to smash it, so I hit that hard. A little too hard. Right out of the center of the face, the line was okay. Too hard. Too hard. That's right. So this is like an 11-footer or something. For my par, I really want to make this. Stay tuned through the end of this video for you guys for some more info. Nice! made that one all right hit like hit subscribe that's what's really important later okay guys thanks for watching that was two over so I really felt like I didn't hit any good drives today uh, though I hit one good drive on uh, 14 but that was into the bunker so not technically really a good drive but uh, putted the ball pretty well great putt on the last hole I was thinking to myself two over and three over seems like a huge difference to me Two over is like whatever. Three. So anyway, so two birdies, four bogeys. No, uh, two birdies and a double bogey and two other bogeys. So uh, up and down. I, I've been hitting the ball. If you guys watch my Instagram, uh, follow me on Instagram at bb underscore golf show. And uh, I've been making some awesome swings on the range. I don't feel like I made any of those swings really today other than the drive on 14 possibly and there's other elements that are that are that are in there right now on the golf course but it's not really um, not really taken hold completely yet but um, I was listening to Kevin Kisner talk about making his swing changes with John Tillery and Kevin was talking about how sometimes when you're making a change and his, his change he said took four years I think and then uh, after he made his change, he made it on tour. But uh, Kevin was talking about how sometimes when you're making a change, like keep working on it, even if even if you're not seeing it on the course, even if you don't even see it on video, 
the changes are happening as long as you're, you know, you keep being focused and grinding on the same thing. So, uh, so I just, I guess trust the process is the thing that every, everybody says. Um, so happy about that. All in all, it was an enjoyable day of golf. I'm noticing so many more people, one just almost hit me, are using yellow golf balls now because uh, out on the course, I thought I had hit my ball at one spot and I was like, no, that's my ball. And I was like, no, I have a yellow one. And he's like, I have a yellow one too. Right behind me is the short game area where we're going to be doing the Be Better Golf Scoring School with Tim Yelverton, who is the best short game teacher in the world. We're doing it right here. There's only one spot left on Sunday, October 29th. And I think there's, th there's two or three spots, I'm not sure, left on Saturday, October 28th. So if you guys would like to come, they will fill up very soon. So go to BeBetterGolf.net slash school and join us.